Hey there, Nick Jantakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to reselect your last selection in Vim. And this is a built-in behavior, but I'm gonna open up my VimRC file just so we have a file to operate on. But let's say that I have these three lines selected here and I wanna copy them to my clipboard, but let's just say I forgot to copy them to my clipboard. I'm you know, down here maybe adding a new plug or doing something else and I realize that, oh yeah, I can't paste that here because I don't have it in my clipboard. So of course you can go back and manually redo the selection, but Vim has a built-in behavior where you can just hit GV and that is G as in grape, V as in violin, and there we go. Vim pop us back over to our previous selection and did that selection for us. That is a very handy thing to do. And I guess in practice, I tend to use this a lot when I'm dealing with HTML templates. So I might be selecting a couple of nested divs and I may just forget to select the last closing div or something like that. And sometimes it's going for, you know, multiple pages and it's a little bit annoying to like reselect all of that stuff just to, you know, get the closing div at the end. So using GV there is really nice because then I can just go back to the selection, hit the down arrow to select one more line or up arrow, whatever happens to be. And that is it. So this is a quick video, but it is a very handy tip here. I found at least uh, all built-in uh, behavior to Vim. There's no custom bindings that you need to set up. This is something that I do use in my day-to-day. -day. Figured I would make a video about that one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.